Hey, you just caught me in the middle of editing another Great Racer Cinema Productions video. Well, hello there. Yeah. This day wasn't so good, but hopefully we'll uh, make it better by comparing the two LEGO Advent Calendars to see which one has the better gift. Yeah, as we continue in this ongoing Advent Calendar battle, we of course try to see which gift, I mean, which theme reigns supreme. If only we could find door 12. There it is. It's right over there. Yeah, it's another TIE Fighter. Yeah, we already did like a, a fast forward building sequence on the, uh, these things before. Yeah, especially one in the uh, couple of years of the advent calendar itself, so you know how it's built, so. Kablam! Jump cut! Alright, here it is. Yeah, it's basically just a run-of-the-mill TIE fighter. Nothing to see here. Yeah, it doesn't have many play features compared to the uh, the X-Wing. The X-Wing at least has the wings that open up. And it's a pretty cool feature for such a small package. Yeah, whereas the TIE Fighter, the wings are fixed. Unless if you, like, rotate them and blam, you got, and bam, you got... Darth Vader's TIE Fighter. Yeah, there's not much play feature with the TIE Fighters. Yes, I know they're iconic starships, but... They don't have a, a much play value in terms of a, um, toys. Especially the Kenner ones and the Lego ones. I don't think the, um... Lego ones have a, uh, the best play value either. The X-Wings have, like, mechanical wings that open up. It's pretty cool. I even have one of them. Yeah, the gear... The X-Wings have the gear function. The TIE Fighters don't have much when it comes to features. So, not much to say. It's alright. It's not nearly as good as the X-Wing, but it'll pass. It's the TIE Fighter, after all. Um. Vum. Vum. All right, on to the Avengers side. All right, let's see what the Avengers has to offer. All right. Yeah, this looks like a miniaturized AM. Uh, Heli carrier, which is interesting. This deserves a fast forward build with the tidal wave boss music from the Transformers game for the PS2. Let's get to building. Wow, by Poseidon's trident, this is actually a pretty impressive miniature. Yeah, it does the uh, look of the helicarrier pretty well. And the best part is that it can be like a, uh, a playset for, uh, for your other vehicles. It's so big that it can 
well, almost carry a starship. Yeah, a helicarrier. Yeah, this thing has a lot of play value for its size. Oh look, there's a razor's crest on the on the helicarrier. Very much play value. This is a lot of play value. And you could also uh, take it in the uh, the bathtub, just in case the regular helicarrier was too big. Yeah, this is a pretty cool package. Yeah, there's a lot of play value to be had with this set. Granted, the Razor's Crest doesn't scale well with this, but it's probably not the whole point. It's probably some sort of vehicle that's meant to go on there. But, yeah, because this is an Avenger set, you have to have a helicarrier, and because of this, this vehicle gets the points over the TIE Fighter. Yeah, I fixed it. I, f I realized that a, uh, I put the piece back in wrong. So yeah, it's all fixed. Yeah. Let this image sink in for you guys. Razor's crest on the helicarrier. How do you like that? That is freaking cool. Anyways. See you tomorrow. I'm in a good mood. Peace.